Good morning! Hey, <laughs> we're just tanning. Guess what I want to do? What? Guess. Spear fishing. The freezers are capable of holding some more. It's um, with the wind direction, it shouldn't be too bad. So. You got your radio? Check. You sure you'll be right with Lenny? Yeah, I got this. You're gonna be a good boy for mum. <laughs> hey. What fish do you want, Lenny? Groper? Growl if you want groper. Growl if you want... Snapper. <laughs> <laughs> he wants a snapper. Let's go find your daddy! He's home! He's home! Where's your dad? Where's your daddy? What? Babe, that's that's huge! <laughs> what is it? I don't think you've got one of them before. Far out, man. That is massive! Say go dad, go dad! Should we take that to the beach and fill it? Yeah, it's definitely. pretty big, it's gonna make a mess. Tell me the story. The other day I found a really good spot and I thought that I'd marked it on my phone, but I hadn't. So I was out there for ages today trying to find it again. I'm trying to explain why I'm so even more pumped on today than I should have been. So I found the spot, which is like finding a needle in a haystack. And once I'd done that, I dropped the anchor and then I was, that's when I saw a black groper. And I dove on it probably four, five, six times, but it was really skittish. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to put a bit of structure in between me and it and sneak up on it. But it was about 23 meters, I think. After three or four dives in succession and trying to utilise a bit of bottom time and crawl over to it, I was just, I was gassed. Yeah, I, black groper is I bade smart, him farewell. Hey. Yeah, They're they so are. so smart. They are. So the, the dog snapper are the same and I, I saw the exact same thing happen to me the other day. I saw a school of dog snapper um, hanging around the same spot as the black grouper. Um, they're both really difficult fish to get a hold of. So there was sand all around and there was a bommie and I dove down and it tucked into a hole in the top of the bommie. Yeah. So I, I went down like off to the side and sort of crawled my way over to it. I also checked out another hole to see if that grouper was hanging around. Went over and fortunately it hadn't gone too far down. It was just sort of hanging around in the top. I got a shot on it, I managed to pull it out of the hole and swim straight up, which was lucky because there was quite a few sharks around. And that would have been a fight with that fish. Yeah, like, and it was gonna be it was gonna be real out, swimming up, swimming down, it would have been a disaster. So I was pretty lucky to What's wrong, baby? I was lucky that I nailed it, Lenny. Because it could have been a bit of a different story. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Holy shit. That was amazing. Woo! I've just come in a little bit closer to land. That was really cool for so many different reasons. I'm just like losing my marbles right now. These are my boat sunnies, which have seen better days. Lenny's a little bit upset. <laughs> and we have a bit of a squall coming over. It might even rain this afternoon. So yeah, we got a lot of meat to deal with now. I'm thinking that we might batter some tonight. Oh baby boy. Might batter some fish, so 
hang around for that. And if you're new here, definitely subscribe. We put out new videos every Monday and sometimes Friday, like this one. And yeah, it's Riley, Lenny and I living on board the Vagabond and we sail around. You could take me to the ground. So I'm letting the fish marinate for half an hour in this amazing jerk seasoning from Jamaica. It's so good if you haven't tried it. Then I'm going to coat it in flour, then I'm going to coat it in egg. These disturbingly bleached white eggs that we bought from the food market here, but beggars can't be choosy here in the Bahamas. <laughs> and back in flour again, and then pop it in the pan to pan fry it. Should be good. Excuse me, Lenny. Dad's got to get inside, mate. I've never like used jerk seasoning and crumbed it at the same time, but I only have just plain flour. I don't actually have breadcrumbs, so I thought to spice it up a little, pun intended, I could put the jerk seasoning and crumb it. I don't know. Is that good? We're gonna find out. <laughs> Stay tuned. Down in here for days. Try to think of all the ways. I was so in love with all the lonely. God, how well that you know me, that you know me. You took me from this lonely floor. You gave me everything and more. We're too good for this. No longer made. To add to our cholesterol, I like cooked the leftover egg, <laughs> made it into scrambled eggs. Wow, that's pretty weird. Yeah, I had a sneaky bite. Should we tease Lenny? Mm -hmm. Sometimes when we get bored, we tease Lenny. No, we yeah. don't. Don't do that. No. Can you stop it, Dad? It tastes Asian. What do you reckon? No, I think it tastes Jamaican. Nah. You're making me annoyed. Tastes like spicy schnitzel fish. Yeah, would you recommend it? Probs not, unless you're up for an adventure. No, like, I, I do. I, I really do. I'm not even joking, you've just, that's... I know, I wanna eat like all the fish, but I, I've never eaten that much fish before at one sitting. Thumbs up for schnitzels. Well, good job on your fish. I'm very proud of you. He likes the taste of my salty arm. Lenny, lick my arm. <laughs> lick my arm again. <laughs> good boy. Go again, it's tasty. Yum. Is it good? No, he likes the camera. No, not for you. Not for you. <laughs> Eat this. <laughs> Getting a few things in order. Grouse. We're getting all. These. I've had it for a while, but it got some... Have you even looked at my face? No. <laughs> you didn't even notice. No, I didn't. You look uh, attractive in a librarian sort of way. <laughs> like you might do things. That's all I'll say. <laughs> oh, I just installed, we've got a fancy, shiny bit of rigging, which I find I respond to much like a fish. <laughs> I just like... <laughs> Um, That's what Lenny was doing to your arm. <clears throat> he's very fish-like. I found a company online that's like a... It's kind of like Amazon, but for ship, shipping products, rigging and ropes and all that sort of stuff. So I'll do a link for that in the description below. You can check out that sort of stuff if you like. We will get a small commission. Nothing major, but... Um, that always helps us out. It does. They just have good brands and it's all in the one spot. And you can just get it all done there. So that, that's where I've been going lately. So this is a halyard swivel. So it's so that the uh, sail doesn't twist up when you send it up. It's good when Lenny has a little sleep, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, free time. <laughs> Why are you dressed like this? I don't know. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood. 
I've certainly had a couple of beers. Yeah, if you can tell. Not me though, I don't drink beer. I wish I did drink beer. It's so easy. And I like. It's a nice afternoon. They're really sexy glasses. Thank you. They look how hipster. I'm gonna make a cup of coffee. Has anyone ever mistaken someone else's foot for their own? Because it just happened to me. And I was really confused. This is quality content. <laughs> Upload this straight away, Elena. Do not delay. Get it online immediately. Gold. People need to know about this. Yeah, we're going to wrap up the video now. But seriously, I want to know if anyone has mistaken someone else's limb for their own. It's, pretty, it's a pretty weird experience. <laughs> Proprioception. Synesthesia. Syn synesthesia? I don't know, you're, you're telling the joke. <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping it.